morning all of you today i am take your cost accounting paper problems relating to cost last class i give all the uh, theory relating to first chapter introduction part and give a one format relating to cost sheet also now we are take to class uh, relating, relating to practical sum and practical problem of statement of cost sheet now i give one practical question all of you write down in your notebook this one from the books of zona point rise the following details have been extracted for the year ending 31st march 2021 now material rupees 8 lakhs laborers rupees 2 lakhs overhead rupees 50000 fuel rupees 60000 Electricity charges eighty thousand. Factory rent rupees ten thousand. Director fee rupees six thousand. Warehouse charges rupees seven thousand. Manager salary rupees ten thousand. Travelling expenses rupees twelve thousand. General charges rupees two thousand. Repairs to plant and machinery rupees five thousand. Indirect wages rupees sixteen thousand. Repairs to furniture rupees two thousand. Rent and rates rupees twelve thousand. Bad debt rupees six thousand. Profit margin of fifty percent on cost. All of you write down question. Uh, this one question in your notebook. Now we solve the this one question. <coughs> If you write down, okay. Now we go to the solution, solution part. This one, solution. First of all, you return in the middle part of your page, and in the book of Sona Point, right? Next, you go to the statement of cost sheet. Next line, you return for the year and the thirty-first March, twenty twenty-one. Then this one, the format of cost sheet, particulars, details, small. First, in a particular column, you return direct material. This one format already given in your last class, and in the study materials also there all the details. We just solve this one question now. Direct material rupees eight lakhs given in the question. We check this one in the question. This one given. This one direct material. In this uh, question, first of all, you allocate the, all the expenses in different parts. Factory related, office related, selling and distribution related. This one direct material go rupees eight lakh. Direct labor labor rupees two lakh. Direct overhead rupees fifty thousand. And total all the three details you add, then you get the prime cost. Now you put the add factory overhead. On the factory overhead. What are the given in the question? You find out the factory related item, then put up in the factory overhead on the factory overhead. First one is fuel, which is sixty thousand. Then factory rent, which is ten thousand. Repairs and plant, repairs to plant and machine, five thousand. Indirect wages, sixteen thousand. All total of the this uh, this column is amount, which is ninety one thousand. Now ninety one thousand. This one, all total. This one is ninety one. Then you go to the office and administrative administration overhead. This one, office and office and administrative overhead. On the office and administrative overhead, first one is electric charges. Electric charges. Next one is um, the electric charges rupees eighty thousand. Director fee rupees six thousand. Next manager salary rupees ten thousand, general charges rupees two thousand, repairs and to furniture rupees two thousand, rent and rent rupees twelve thousand. You find out the all the office and administrative related expenses you put up there, then add this item, then you get the value rupees one lakh twelve thousand. 
and then you add the this one and this one you get cost of production then you here one you write one uh, data uh, work cost work uh, work cost this step okay now you go to the next part selling and distribution overhead on the selling and distribution overhead there are two items traveling expenses and warehouse charges this one traveling expenses and warehouse charges put up the value this side this one then you add this to here is 19000 sum of the cost of production and selling and distribution you get the total value of p 1 lakh 12 lakh 72000 after that there is question one given Profit margin is 50% on cost. Then total cost, calculate the total cost amount 50%. You put the value of this one, 6 lakh 36 thousand. Then add up of this two, total cost and profit. Then you get the value total sales. This one the amount is 19 lakh 8 thousand as the final answer of this question. In your um, study material. We, I tried one uh, homework also. You solve in yourself. Uh, today's this one uh, we teach today. Now thank you to all of you to attend my classes. Thank you.